the FDA recommends 300 grams of carbs a day, 2.4 of sodium, and 65 for fat. But sugar? I have no idea. And that's probably because the industry doesn't want me to. I read nutrition labels. Almost all nutrients have a percent daily value that gives consumers a yardstick for how much they should be eating or drinking. Sugar stands out because it doesn't have one. Because the food industry fought against it. The sugar industry is very good at lobbying and very, very good at getting what it wants. The sugar industry has spent at least $54 million lobbying since 2009. Soda and beverage companies? Well, they spent $113 million fighting measures like sugar taxes during the same period. Right now, the industry wants the Federal Food and Drug Administration to drop a proposal for labeling sugar. The agency thinks the added information will actually discourage the average American from eating more than 50 grams of sugar a day. Most Americans eat twice the amount of sugar than this particular cap. And Americans aren't overdosing on fruit. They're getting high on added sugar. We're not just talking soda and ice cream. Ketchup. Four grams of sugar per tablespoon. Salad dressing, tomato sauce, even cereals that are marketed as healthy. That means this is 24% a quarter of the amount of sugar that you're allowed to have for an entire day. Fruit juices. Uh, orange juice has as much uh, sugar in it as a soft drink. And how about this one, bread? But I looked here, wheat flour, eggs, Sugar is, is the, the third, third ingredient. ingredient. <laughs> so every one of these has 10% of the day's sugar allotment. I bet they're delicious. Hypothetically, you can have a cup of this, a cup of this, a teaspoon of that, this, a cup of this, and you're maxed oh, out for the day. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, easily, With no right? trouble at all. So that's why food companies are so opposed to having this daily value on the food label, because they know that Customers will be shocked when they see how much sugar there is in products that, where they might not have suspected. The Sugar Association wrote a 17-page letter to the FDA saying that added sugars have the same chemical makeup as naturally occurring ones, pointing out that the term added sugars is misleading and without scientific justification. So where does all this leave the FDA's new sugar labels? Well, if history is any guide, the industry will press its case hard. It blocked measures to limit sugar in several states and cities. The most recent, last year, in San Francisco, where lobbyists for Big Soda spent $9 million to defeat a proposed sugar tax. All this means the FDA's proposal is probably toast, the one with the added sugar.